Oh, wow. You see right here the building is right here on our main street. Right here. She went in that bedroom right there and put her gown on. About five minutes before it had to be out. Her husband went outside so they heard a glass before he got that. So they were inside when they it were started. Inside. They got started. into the, the Jackie put them in the closet, told them to stay in the closet, put the baby down first in the bottom out. of the closet, her over top of the baby, and then he was she over top of her. That's the place started going down. They took a ride all the way down. Oh my gosh! So how many people were in there? Uh, there was There's her Jonathan. Side. The two and he has two, ki two kids and his mom, stepdaddy and his mom. So, so there was five oh my there. gosh. Five people. Right now they're just babies. babies. They're all okay? Yeah, they're all yeah, okay. And they had, they had to go to the hospital. They had last insurance night. on the buildings. Yeah. Checked out, but they had insurance on the buildings. Oh my well, gosh. Quiet. They just, no. well, they, they was doing the, uh, stuff so to the Jack sidewalk, Hammer stuff. Jack Hammer stuff to the sidewalk. And it, it messed up. They've been trying to get the city to come fix it. They didn't do it. They wouldn't do it. Oh, well. It, it fell the city of Beaver Impact. Yep. Oh, so they believe that it was caused it was by when they jackhammered yeah. and then the train put in that pretty. Oh, plus. When that train came yeah. by yesterday, it started moving the building. And that's when the tin and the glass broke. Or tin fell off and the glass broke. He was just sitting by the He was oh trying to gosh. fix it. To where they could stay there. Jack Bonnie and Bonnie Casey. 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 So Jack and Bonnie Casey, Casey. and yeah. their children. Yeah. And their son, children. Two Jonathan granddaughters. And two their granddaughters. son and two granddaughters was living there. And how old were the kids? The kids are seven, seven and, and three. Four, I think. No, seven and four. Seven and four. Yeah. Two little girls. So I mean, pretty much everything they they've owned is gone. Yeah. 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 All she's got is all the all my sister in law's got is good gown. She, she ain't got clothes. clothes to change. They won't let them back in. Her purse is in No, there they can't. And that they bed right there, her purse is in, purse there, is in the bed. All of her money's in all it. All her money. And she can't get her money or nothing. Oh, gosh. And if they would have been sleeping in that bed, the ceiling fell on top of the bed. So do they have somewhere to stay? They got them up in the Beaver Dam Inn right now. Baptist Church. Beaver Dam Baptist Church. Well, let's get Tuesday. them. Until Tuesday. So. That's, that's just awful. Hopefully their insurance will help them. Oh wow. That's just So this happened last night around ten o'clock. These people uh, their children were actually dead and they were, you know, settling down for the night. And oh my gosh. It's just devastating. I'm just speechless. I mean, you can clearly see right there's a little girl's bed and their toys. And I just talked to a uh, the sister-in-law of the lady that lived here. That is just crazy. Just crazy. The whole corner of this building is gone. And the front right there. There is a con consignment shop underneath. And an apartment on top. That's just crazy. We have the road blocked off by the fire department. Diverting traffic. Like I said, it's right here on our Main Street. You can see, right here's Main Street. And right there's the building. 